Nemo, 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 don't go to the edge. Okay. There's gonna be sharks. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to part two of editing photos on the go. Last week, I showed you how to transfer photos from your camera over to your phone. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put a link to it in the description or up here if you're on YouTube. This week, I wanna show you how I organize photos on my phone. Now for me, the purpose of organizing photos on my phone is to make it really easy to find, edit, and share photos without having to scroll forever through my camera roll. Forever, forever. Thankfully, there's a free app that makes it really easy to do all of that, and it's called Lightroom Mobile. So let me show you my workflow. I open up Lightroom Mobile and tap the plus icon to create a new collection. You can think of collections a lot like albums. I personally like to create collections for people, places, and events. What's really cool about Lightroom is that you can take the same photo and drop it into multiple collections to make it easier to find. So if I take a photo of my son Cade celebrating his birthday at Disneyland, I can create three different collections, one for Cade, one for birthday parties, and another for Disneyland, and I can drop that same photo into each of them to make it easier to find. Now, if we open up the newly created collection, you'll see that it's empty, so we gotta add some photos to it. To do that, select Add Photos, then tap Camera Roll. Here, you'll see all the photos in your camera roll, so just go through and select the photos that you want to add to the collection, and then tap Add Photos. So at this point, I've created a collection and I've dropped some photos into it. And you might be wondering, why not just do this with the photo app that comes with your phone? Well, photos that live inside your photo app or inside camera roll are originals. Photos that you add to Lightroom are copies. Those copies are then synced up to Adobe's cloud. So if I'm going to edit or tweak a photo in some way, I wanna do it with a copy, not an original. I don't wanna run the risk of accidentally messing the original up or even worse, deleting it. So for me, it's a lot easier to leave the original untouched photos in the camera roll or the native photo app and then back that up. And in a couple weeks, I'll kind of show you my backup strategy. So let's jump back to the collection we just created inside Lightroom. I wanna show you a couple things. One of the coolest features with Lightroom Mobile is the ability to sort photos inside each of your collections. So if you have a bunch of photos taken over a period of time, you can easily go in and sort them. When viewing a collection, just tap the name of the collection at the top and select Segmented. Then tap and hold the date to bring up the sorting options. Here you can select by year, month, day, or hour to make it easier to find that photo. Another feature I really like is flagging. So anytime I crop or edit a photo, I go ahead and flag it so that I know that I've made changes to it. So to flag your photos, just open a collection and select a photo. Then tap and hold your finger on the photo and select enable speed review. You only have to do this once going forward, you'll be able to use this feature without having to enable it each time. Then all you have to do is swipe up on each of the photos that have already been edited. In order to see photos that have been flagged, all you have to do is just go back to your collection and then using a two finger press, tap the screen a couple times until you see the little check mark in the upper left hand corner. Everything I've shown you in this episode comes with the free version of Lightroom Mobile. If you want the ability to edit photos on your computer or laptop, or even better, sync any photos that you add to Lightroom on your phone and have them transfer wirelessly over to your computer, you have to sign up for Adobe's photography plan, which comes in at about $10 per month. I'm not promoting them and I'm not being paid by them in any way. But what I will say is that if you want the ability to take your edits with you and have them transfer back to a computer or a laptop, you're gonna to have to subscribe to this service if you want that ability. Otherwise, you can just stick with Lightroom Mobile on your phone and edit and organize photos that way. So there you go. That's how I organize photos on my phone and get them ready for editing. Ah, uh, crush, crush. <laughs> hey, crush.
Hey, dude, I'm Crash. <laughs>